Hello everyone and welcome back to a new week in the Shadowlands, where new renown is now available. So I've already done the um, weekly quest of... It's, re it's, it's really, really easy now because, of course, as you get more renown, the rewards for those quests increase. So now, say, you know how you would get 250 anima for those world quests to defeat a world boss? Now it's 500 anima. So you can now get ridiculous amounts of anima now. So as your renown increases, you're going to be getting tons more <laughs> rewards, I'm noticing. It was very, very easy and fast to be able to uh, uh, finish that. So anyways, just kind of want to toss that out there. So, let's go ahead and turn this in. I am about to get to Renown 50. Alright. So, one of the things that uh, I got was a new upgrade for Emony. Which basically got me down here, unlocked a new slot down here, so... What's interesting is that I noticed that as we progress a Renown, more rewards will be available. So I imagine there's going to be even more to that tree going forward. But anyways. So now... Oh, the quest is down here. Dreadlords! Uh-oh! Looks like we're having a follow-up to that one quest we had where the Dreadlord showed up and kidnapped the Fate Scribe that we have to fight in the raid. Champion! Quickly! We must stop the Primus before it is too late. We want to stop. You cannot deceive the House of Eyes. I was about to say, like, why would Vash want to stop the Primus? And then, of course, she, the real Vash shows up and gets the Dreadlord. Nice! From strife comes so, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was a video I made some time ago where there's this book that you can find in Sinfall, and it had huge ramifications and, you know, about implications about the... The implication it was that the, the Dreadlords, the Nath regime, were actually servants of both Denathrius and the Jailer, and that they had been infiltrating the other uh, forces, including, um, like, the Burning Legion, uh, the Light, the Void. They had infiltrated these forces on behalf of Denathrius and the Jailer. So the implication was that while we always thought the Dreadlords were, like, true, you know, like, you know, members of the Burning Legion... Turns out that it was saying that no, they were actually they had fooled the Legion into actually having them be a part of their ranks to spy on them. So it seems we're getting a follow-up to that. This is the fifth dreadlord that I have found infiltrating our forces this week. Unchecked, they can cause tremendous damage to our foothold here. In life, I learned how to identify these creatures from a demon hunter. It makes it far easier for me to locate them. But I cannot be in all places at once. We must report these findings to the Primus. In Akarak's name. Of course, if I was on my demon hunter... I am swift as the wind. War is at hand. More dreadlords? I should have suspected the fangs of Denathrius would find their way here again. I am pleased to know that despite their setbacks in my absence, the House of Eyes has not lost their sight. The threat of the Nathrazim pose to... Bleh. The threat the Nathrazim pose to our forces must not be underestimated. They are cunning... Rivaling the best veterans of the House of Eyes, and we do not know their full plan. Among the Venthyr, there is one whose wrath scourged the Nathrazim from the Shadowlands for many thousands of years. I ask you travel to Sinfall. Seek out Prince Renathal and deliver to him this missive. I shall send one of my own spies, the Baroness Vash, to meet you there. 
make use of her expertise with the na of her experience with the Nath regime. You must not falter. All right. This is going to be interesting doing this as a Necrolord, considering uh, what it would be like if you were doing this on, say, a Venthyr. Greetings, mortal. I, of course, do have a uh, Venthyr Demon Hunter on uh, my, my Alliance uh, server. Which, I don't know, I, I may do that on camera, I may just not. Because it seems like there, there really isn't that much covenant specific stuff here it's just kind of like the same thing basically for everybody which is a little disappointing i like it when there is stuff that's unique for your character based on things like say what your covenant is that's why i like that little quest at the end that we had last week where the primus was like because you have aided the Necrolord so well, I wish for you to attend a ceremony for draka back at the seat of the primus i was like oh sweet Nothing of the sort for the other Covenants, though. Though I imagine there could be something unique here involving this quest if you are a Venthyr. I may have to do a little investigating on that. Maybe I'll just have to record it and see. We'll find out. Do I still have that here in my inventory? Or did I? No. I think I put that in my, uh, my bank. The book, I mean. You can find the, uh, video of that in my extra stuff playlist. If you want to see what exactly that book was saying, and I kind of talk about it. <clears> hmm. <throat> I am no pet to be commanded. You would do well to remember that. So, yes. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way and talk about this right now. If you couldn't tell, yes. Kael'tha sounds different. I have acknowledged this in an earlier part uh, when this patch started. But yes, Quentin Flynn is no longer the voice of Kael'tha. And... I'm, you know, I, considering the stuff going on, you know, in real life, I totally understand, you know, it's, it's a completely understandable reason. I'm not entirely okay with them redoing the stuff he did years ago. That's a separate issue that I kind of don't really like the idea of, but going forward for new content? Yeah, sure. Totally understand. Here's the thing, though. I don't like the new voice. I'm sorry. The thing, Quint Flynn had a unique take on Kael'thas' voice. It sounded unique amongst other Blood Elf type of characters. And here, in my opinion, he just sounds like another generic male Blood Elf. I've heard other male Blood Elves sound similar to this. Kael'thas' voice kind of stood out amongst male Blood Elves. You know... At least when he was voiced by Quentin Flynn. Now he just kind of sounds generic. And it just kind of sounds disappointing. So. Yeah. He has a new voice and I don't like it. Let's move on. Vengeance awaits. 
I have been in Revendreth for less than five minutes, and the accuser has tried to get me to atone three times already. It would amuse me if the Primus had not warned me how dangerous she is in this place. It almost makes me feel sorry for Kael'thas. Well, Prince Renathal is assembling a diplomatic envoy to the Stone Right. We are here to hunt and destroy Dreadlords. Try not to join them this time. Oh, I thought he was going to have some kind of response to that. I guess the new voice actor doesn't get as much work as uh, the previous one did. Hey, Zrali. Denathrius, Ramonia. Come forth, catalyst of change. It will take time. Oh wait, I, he already, already, he already said this before. Oh, you hold on. And he against the end of reality. We might need some help. Uh, the Primus. Prince Renathal, the unseen guests walk among us once again. We have not ascertained their long-term goals, nor are we aware of how long it has been since they returned to the Shadowlands, if indeed they ever truly left. What is more... We have need of a new sigil of the Venthyr. The one held by Denathrius was given to the Jailer. A new one might be forged should you complete your plan of uniting the medallions of the Harvesters. I have dispatched this Maw Walker and a Baroness of the House of Eyes with experience in hunting Nathrazim. I would ask for you to introduce them to the Harvester of Wrath. We are out of time for niceties, and the Shadowlands needs the Harvester of Wrath to join a side. I expect no failure. The Primus. To the Stone Rite, Harvester of Wrath. We have need of you and your medallion. The Nathrazim have returned, and the sigil of the Venthyr has been lost to the Jailer. I am sending you resources to help deal with this threat. I challenge you to remind the Shadowlands of the meaning of Wrath. The time for neutrality is over. Only together can we stand against the might of the Banished One, the Primus. And what can this humble fallen prince do for you? I forgot to open this, by the way. There we go. Eh. Alright, anyways. The Nathrazim have returned? I dare not imagine that they would ever grow so bold again. A shame they have not learned in their exile. I return to us as enemies instead of family. I'm sorry, exile? Um, Renathal, I don't think you have been fully aware of what the Nathrazim have been doing recently. I look upon you and dare to feel. A new sigil for the Venthyr would require all seven medallions to forge. The Primus was correct. The person that we need is the Stone Rite. Her grievances against the Unseen could fill a library, and she holds the last of the medallions we need. I believe you and I are long overdue in convincing her to join our cause. I will make the arrangements. We shall go properly this time, with gifts and diplomacy. You should warn... Chelra. She will want to arrange an escort. There is no possibility of victory. Oh, is that not exciting? We must be vigilant. Our allies grow in strength, as does our forces here. We owe it to your efforts, Mallwalker. Rundlethal plans to petition the Stone Right. There are spies ever So, he has finally worked up the nerve to meet with her. I must gather a worthy escort. To ride the carriage. You have no shortage of sins. 
and no shortage of victories. Can you say the same? <laughs> uh, what's funny about this little um, uh, back and forth between these two is remember these two worked together with Illidan back in the Burning Crusade and going back to Warcraft 3. So these two have quite a bit of history together. Remember, we had a whole, you know, Blood Elf campaign back in Frozen Throne where we were playing as Kael'thas trying to deal with what was going on with the Scourge and Vosh came to help him out and then broke him out of prison when Garethos imprisoned him and the Blood Elves and were going to kill them. And then Vosh, you know, brought him to Illidan. So these two have quite a bit of history together. It's just kind of funny hearing this kind of interaction, like the little banter here between these two. Because you kind of start to wonder, like, were these two, like, actually, like, you know, companions or friends? Or were they just kind of, like, you know, at each other's, you know, throats or kind of, like, having little, you know, shots between each other here and there the whole time? Countless ages ago... Just after the first Venthyr was sired, Denathrius unveiled another creation, the Nathrazim. Forged to be the ultimate infiltrators, they bore the influence of death into the realms of our rivals, as well as the worlds of the living. Despite their subtlety, one of these incursions was discovered. In response, the full wrath of the light fell upon Rivendreth, setting ablaze the ward once held by the Nathrazim. Once the Naru were routed, the Stonerite turned her anger upon the Nathrazim, blaming them for the loss of so many of her children. The armies of Maldraxxus did not rise up to defend us, so the Stonerite carved her stone legion to strike back against the light. The conflict was ended by Denathrius, who said he would exile them to a world beyond the Shadowlands. Denathrius never told me what became of the Nathrazim. Only later did I learn that mortal souls had come to know them by another name. The Dread Lords. Yeah, obviously, if, you know, since we now know that Denathrius was, um... Well, playing us the whole time, it's pretty safe to guess that Denathrius, when he said, I will exile them, what he was really saying was, I will lie to you about exiling them to have them go continue my plans to have them infiltrate the other forces, including the Burning Legion and such. So. In the end, the more is inevitable for us all. What do you bring me, Marwaka? Be advised, I have no patience for deception, and I am not above feeding messengers to the Gargans. Hmm. A letter from the Primus himself? I had wondered what become of that old tyrant. I see. Dreadlords. Of course, of course they would come back now of all times. I half suspected they returned during the drought. I was not entirely convinced that you were not one, that you were, that you were not one the first time I saw you. They have gotten more clever over the eons since they fled Revendreth, but not clever enough, I think. Come, Marwaka, follow me and do not make a fuss. Keep your weapon ready. The envoy brought, you brought is not as well intentioned as you might have thought. Beware My dear Stone Knight, harvester of wrath, wielder of war. How have you been, my child? Mother of Stone, you honor me with your concern. I am well. In She's a dreadlord. Considering Denathrius had you beheaded, after casting Renathal into the Maw, reveal yourself, infiltrator! Always so clever. Only, I am not the infiltrator. I am the distraction. Now! Seize the medallion! Remove the interlopers!
Um. Well. I suppose I have time to listen. I'm trying to think, how do I do this? <laughs> See, there's a, a part of me that wants to just keep doing the voice that he used to have on, as Quentin Flynn. But then, at the same time, I don't think I ever really did that well of a recreation of that. It's just hard for me to kind of try and place this one, so I don't know, I may just go ahead and do that. Chelder was a Nathrazim the entire time I knew her. And even in death, I must still contend with the schemes of the Nathrazim. I have grown too trusting in my penance. The Stone Rite's medallion must not st stay in the hands of the Nathrazim. From what the accuser explained of our mission, the medallion is required if we wish to forge a new sigil for the Venthyr. I have no doubt that is why Nal Nalragas and her ilk executed their ambush now. The medallions are not subtle magic, and their effect on this realm is easily tracked. I suggest we give chase and eliminate this Nalragas before she can be reinforced. All I did was for the Sindori. Make it quick. Grief comes nothing. I will not be trifled with. Nathrazim, dreadlords, the unseen guests. Call them what you will. They are a race that was crafted to be the greatest collection of spies and infiltrators in all of reality once upon a time. Their intrusion has underestimated three things. Kelda Sunstrider, Baroness Vosh, and Nick Suzard. I have brought a tool Kelda and I used, used to detect Nathrazine when we served under Illidan, and I am the matron of spies. Let us hunt these intruders down. You are use this to see through the Nathrazine sight. It's basically spectral sights that demon hunters have. That's basically what it is. All right, we of course have to keep a lookout for um... for any named Nathrazine that we know from the past, because we have to be on the lookout for those. You can't have the Nathrazine come back like this and not have some notable people here, unless there's of course a good reason, like. What fate do you suppose was chosen for him? You assume he is both dead and mortal. I am not sure either is true. Okay, so I have some news to share with the two of you. Um, he's at the seat of the Pantheon, guarding uh, Sargeras with the Titans. I don't know if you two have heard the news. <laughs> Just saying. But yeah, like, there are certain Dreadlords that should not show up here. Like Veramothras. We killed him in Antorus, which was in the Nether, so he should be permanently dead. We also killed Tychondrius during the Nighthold raid. I doubt he would be back by now, considering how powerful he's supposed to be. It's supposed to take a very long time for him to come back. So, I'm trying to think of any other Dreadlords so that we would have uh, taken out a. Out. I don't think... I think Veramothras may have been the only one. Um, others could uh, come back. They did make appearances in Legion, but we didn't actually kill them for good. Even even Mephistroth, we only killed um, in the dungeon at the Tomb of Sargeras, but we didn't kill in the Nether, so he could still come back. I was like, I see you, Dreadlord. I'm sure some people are going to make the joke of, hey, use this on Jaina, let's find out for sure. Mm. 
We will finally find out once and for all if Jada is a dreadlord. I'm I'm kidding. Get him, Kael'thas! Okay. A harvester without a medallion! You are but a shadow of your former fury. enough fury to deal with you. To think I was once allied with these fiends. Is that a hint of remorse? How unlike you. <laughs> Your stoneborn cannot find us all. We are everywhere. Bosh! Bosh, you wanna join me? Continue oh. to delay our foe. Malganus. Well, there's the big name right there. I told you we were gonna have, gonna have to be on the lookout for a big name, and well, we found the big name there. I wondered why he was hardly used at all in Legion. Now I guess this is why. Because they were saving him for this. Then how will be done? The Venthia have grown complacent, unwilling to acknowledge the reality that Nathrazim might return. The same blindness left them exposed to Denathrius's treachery. They will be far more vigilant now. I do so enjoy our conversations. Hey, it's the Venthyr, uh, mount you can get in this patch. The bearer of the stone rite. Navratal. Come closer, my new friend. I have spoken with the stone right. Chelra fell to the master when I was prisoner of the Maw. She was my friend and protector in countless ages. And I did not even know that she had been slain. Her identity stolen. One more sin for Denathrius to atone for. Malganus! It has been many ages, ages since I have said his name. Now I find we must hunt him down. If he has the medallion of wrath, then there is nowhere he can hide. We can use the other medallions we have recovered to locate him. Join me in Sinfall and bring your dreadlord hunting party. I suspect that we still have we will have need of them. There is oh, well, a simplicity. In the rest of you make for Sinfall. I want that medallion back. And Malganus's head on a spike.
So, welcome to Sinfall, the Venthyr Covenant Hall. <laughs> I like that a lot of uh, players here. I'm not entirely sure how many of them are actually Venthyr or not, but yeah, it lets you be able to look at the layout of how this place is um, set up. Yeah, that's where the table is for the Venthyr players. So they're like, what? What are Necro players doing here? Welcome, my fellow doomed friend. The Nathrazi may not be Venthyr, but nor were they crafted from souls. In many ways, they are more my siblings than my fellow Venthyr. A shame what they have chosen to become. Chalra. I mean... Nalragas would not have been working alone. We must assume the worst and that, that not all of our friends and allies who are who they seem to be. It will take time for the Court of Harvesters to render our detection ritual. While we do so, we will be exposed. I ask that you use the techniques you employed at Dominance Gate within Sinfall to route any to route out route out any Nathrazine within our ranks. Good hunting. What I love is that if I was this on my demon hunter, I wouldn't need the thing. I'd be like, yeah, sure, I've got spectral sight. <laughs> we are doomed, but not without a fight. Leave this place before it claims you. If the Nathrazim have infiltrated Sinfall, they will be communicating. And not just through the hand gestures or spoken words. They like to use magical written messages concealed by a simple cantrip, invisible to the average observer. However, I have developed an incantation that should allow you to see these messages. Find these cryptograms and bring me their contents. I can translate them if they are beyond your understanding. Mm -hmm. I will not tolerate war between my children of stone. So, this is where you perform your penance. It suits you, little prince. My days as a prince have ended. One of many changes I have endured. Aha! <laughs> Gonna go back to our ways from Legion. You cannot hide what you are, demon! <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> 